what happened to the wave I love? Honestly, I was just lost because it felt like I had no purpose in life. I caught myself bouncing to different avenues to feel something, whether that was different games, doing different side projects, whether it be coding, whether I would go out and do MMA for a day at a random gym, whatever the case may be, I was just bouncing around. But I said it before, my true passion lies in gaming and mixed martial arts to obtain ways through those mediums. I had a bone crusher wake up call that told me I have to play by life's rules and that I couldn't just abandon the real world to live in my own fantasy. But I'll still make it happen. What happened to the wave I love? He was lost for a while, walking in the husk of his former mistakes, holding onto his past and letting it consume him, giving into the thoughts and suggestions that deter him from that path. But wave has awoken. Times have changed and realities have been shifted. Bad always comes with the good. My time in this dark place felt really dark. It felt pointless, meaningless. I often felt feelings of despair. There's a lot of walking in circles. I would not call this depression by any means. Really, it was the opposite. If I can make a good example out of this, it's like being in a dark room. And when your eyes finally adjust and you find that switch, the room just gets darker and the switch goes to a different spot on the wall. You have to do it all over again. This process is very unbearable until your brain adjusts. And at that point, you're just fumbling in the dark, looking for the switch. Even though you already know the outcome, you know the switch is going to change spots. You know the room is going to get darker, but it just keeps happening. It's a cycle. A lot of people would give up, but there is something special that forces me to not give in to those types of thoughts. When you are in a dark room for so long, you learn a lot about the person you are how and why you act certain ways, what you like to do, what makes you tick. You even start to see better in the dark. You gain a special awareness to maneuver rooms better and find that light switch faster. Your eyes adjust faster. It is no longer painful to be in the dark. You respect the pain because it gave you these abilities. My analogy is done, but what I want you to understand are these concepts. It's okay to feel lost, hurt, sad, etc. But it's not okay to run away from those feelings. Embrace them, process them, and get on with it. Don't be a bitch about it. Don't overthink it. Accept pain and discomfort at any chance. Of course not physical pain. This is how your mind and body understands that it needs to change. By feeling some type of way. Feeling bad. Feeling embarrassed. The hurt, the pain, all of that. Process the situation. Think critically. Make sure to use your brain. Make sure to be unbiased as well, because if you had all the answers, you wouldn't be in pain in the first place. Think, use your brain, use your brain. Understand what it means to overthink and determine when it is okay to brainstorm and when you should just shut the fuck up and get to work. This takes a lot of car rides with no music, a lot of walks in the cold, staring at the ceiling at 2 a.m. Whatever gets you to just realize that it's just you and your thoughts and nothing else. You'll be surprised what you actually think of when you pay attention. So, what happened to the wave I love? Bro, it was just vibing. I thought I knew who wave was, but that's really something I can't put into words.